Not a freaking lick. Oh. Reason is, the guy in third ran an 855. As you saw, a lot of my passes were quite sketchy today. Brandon and I were Brandon, right? Yep, Brandon Tap. All right, guys, this is Brandon Tap. He and I are battling it out for third today. We're off by what, like two, three hundredths of a second. So it's gonna be a great day. I'm sure we're both gonna be sending it down the track back in uh, in Tulsa. I'm, I'm excited. I love Thunder Valley. It's gonna be a good day. The car's looking great, man. Thank you. Seems to be running every center every day. This too. V2 is so clean. Great trailer setup too. I really need to get on that level because mine stuffing everything in the back and on the roof is. I have no back, so it doesn't work. <laughs> you don't. You don't really have a choice. Third race week, third trailer. I keep having to modify it. Last one, I couldn't see out the back with no get a little, gears. Get a little better every time. Yeah, a little sketchy. All right, we're gonna get some gas. Get back on the road. Right up. Yeah, Today. What do you got? Big winners, dude. Are those the winners from last night? No, there's the big ones. Those are winners, you, dude. You go for the 20s and the 30s, huh? Top row, you know? Top row. I like it. Say it again. I said I gotta see this. Not a freaking lick. That's not that's not for me. Because it's been coming off the back of the back of the motor right there. You know what it is? What? She wants to go 850s today. <laughs> It's an 850 day? It's an 850 day. Ooh, Absolutely. dude, I, I, we gotta get that trophy. Well, it looks like we found the oil leak after pulling the trans twice, replacing the rear main seal, sealing up all the flywheel bolts, and replacing, what is it called again? The oil cooler bypass. The oil cooler bypass. Yep. Dealey Whopper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to get us one of those metal gaskets so it'll seal a little better. RTV, metal gasket. You know. Yeah, we'll do that on the next motor. Yeah. We're not doing that today. Yeah, this is our junk motor. All right. Ben, it wouldn't be a race week if we didn't stop at Home Depot. <laughs> Here's the deal. In the, my frame, a bunch of mud daubers found their home in there. So anytime time I leave the line, it leaves a bunch of dirt all over the line. So we're gonna fill the whole frame rail in with some foam to stop that from happening. Yes. All right, Dr. P. Last day of race week. Not over till we cross the beams. I think we, uh, they're gonna open the track in like an hour and a half. I say we don't touch anything to the tune. We send it how we did the past couple days and start from there because we're at a different track. We'll see, we'll see what we can do. So, the same track we started at. Same track we started at. My favorite, Thunder Valley. This is my favorite track. What are you working on over there? I'm filling some holes that have dirt in them so that I don't get the track dirty again. What are you using? Great stuff. <laughs> Just some great stuff. Okay, all we gotta do is cross the beams and get a time in and then we have officially completed race week, but we gotta go for that 8-5 today. It's what, two, three o'clock? We have all night to run over and over and over again. So you better bet that's what I'm doing because we've got a stiff, stiff competition for third place. And I'm just gonna send the car and go for the 8.5 as hard as I can because we've gone 8.7, we've gone 8.6, we've gone 8.8. It's time to do the 8.5. Get that average time for the week low enough to place. Because the two guys in first and second have an 8.5 average, there's no way I'm gonna catch them unless one of them falls out of competition, which I highly doubt. So let's get going, the two are first pass. They're at 13. Spun off the line, so I stayed out of it. 
Yeah. Yeah. Probably a good choice. What do you think, Georgie? Spun her off the line, huh? Dude, you're supposed to save the burnouts for the burnout box. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I didn't want too far forward? No. You did one off the starting line. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got me thinking for a second. Wait, what? All What's right. the tire pressure at, dude? 13. I got you in that launch now. I tried to leave on a couple pounds of boost, too. I think I just need to come all the way down with it. just gonna turn it all the way down so well, we leave on nothing our competition just ran a 989 so we just yeah. need to make a good solid pass pull some power out oh he's gonna be running all night too yeah sure Dude, whoever invented these, it's, I hate, I hate these things. 
Basically, the cold side and the hot side of the turbo, the front housing was loose. So it was building up all that produce pressure and went boom and rotated forward. So I'm rotating it back. I'm gonna get it tightened down here. Good eye, man. And then put this back together. Should be good to go. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're ending it off race week with not a placement, right? We're bailing. The reason is, the guy in third ran an 8.55. As you saw, a lot of my passes were quite sketchy today. And so I'm choosing to bail instead of push myself and the car. I know I need better tires on the rear and the front. And we came out here untested. So we're gonna come back stronger next year and more prepared. We're just trying to play the safe route this time. Instead Absolutely. of sending it into the wall and continuing to spin and not having a tune that's dialed, so we're playing the smart route. Yeah, like I ran an 855. That's a hard thing to catch. It's a hard thing to catch, especially when we've never done it before. You know, so make sure you guys subscribe, like, leave me a comment. This week it's going to be pretty cool. I've got some good content coming up in preparation for Cletus and Cars Houston next weekend. All I got to say is it's a new burnout car and it's going to be epic. See you later.